this video I look at how home buyers can get a good mortgage deal. For most people a mortgage is the biggest loan they'll take out in their lifetime, so understandably they want to land the best deal. But with hundreds of mortgage products on the market, it's easy for home buyers to feel overwhelmed or confused. There's lots to consider, including the following. Interest rates. They're currently low but won't be forever. The term. Most mortgages last between 25 years but some can stretch to 40 years. Whether to go fixed or variable. Fixed is where the interest rate is set for a number of years. Mortgage fees. Lenders can charge valuation, arrangement, early repayment or mispayment fees. Now you won't be necessarily be hit up for all of these. Each deal is different, but it's important to know what you'll be charged. Next up, an interest only mortgage. This is where you pay back the interest, not the capital, versus a repayment mortgage. Where to start? Well, given a mortgage is such a significant transaction, most people seek advice from a lender or independent financial advisor. Talking to your bank or building society isn't a bad idea. After all, they'll know quite a lot about your financial situation. But this approach does have a significant limitation. The lender will only advise you on their products. For this reason, many people go with an independent mortgage advisor to get a broad picture of the overall market. If you use an independent mortgage advisor, always choose an experienced advisor with a good track record. Ask friends or family for a recommendation or even an estate agent. Also be aware that some mortgage advisors charge an upfront fee. Others get paid a commission from the lenders. So it's best to know from the outset what the situation is. Other mortgage tips. Well, if you're remortgaging, even if you think you know what you're doing, it's still worth getting advice as the market has changed significantly in the past 12 months due to COVID-19. Get your paperwork in order. To make an application, you'll need three months of bank statements, three months of pay slips, ID, a P60 if you're employed, or copies of your accounts if you're self-employed. Credit check caution. Avoid making multiple mortgage applications at the same time, either online or in person, as this can negatively impact your credit rating. A single application won't do any damage, but several hard searches when a lender takes an in-depth look at your credit history will. Essentially, the system assumes that you're trying to obtain several loans simultaneously and are in a financial difficulty. Be honest, like, like it or not, most if not all of our financial activities are tracked online. If you lie in a mortgage application, chances are you'll be found out. For more advice about buying a property, or if you want to speak to our recommended broker, then please do get in touch anytime. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.